All right, welcome back to Destiny of an Emperor, Episode 7. Today, we're going to find out what's in this chest. Okay, of course. Not general. Okay, we obtain a gold key. What's it for? I'll show you later. You don't have to get it, but I recommend it. And since I got this... Whoops! Yeah, I don't remember if I showed these guys off, but Bandit Forces... Kind of like Rebel Forces, nothing special. They're just there. And we're doing pretty decent damage with everyone right now. Most of us have axes. One with a flail. Alright, and seven experience. Maybe I won't get into another battle. <laughs> Please? Okay. <sighs> Yeah, as I said, the battles get very finicky here. I've gotten into like eight battles so far. And most of them have been like worth three experience because it's more, normally two. I might have to go spend the night soon. Went the wrong way. <laughs> That's what happens. You start talking, you go. I'm probably going to have to go buy some more food. But mainly this is just from all the local grinding I was doing. That's my own fault. But I think it's worth it. As you saw the damage from Yeho when they're not using... Did it have to be one step away? Yeah. Yeah, it, it had to be. <sighs> okay, now... Who are you? Who are you? Who be you be? Yeah, I'll take you. Now, let's see who this gentleman is. Juan Ping. 200 strength, 137 intellect, 418 soldiers. He is good, and we're going to be using him for a while. He's got really good strength. He's not the best uh, in intellect, and I'm not going to use him for actually casting spells, but he's good enough to avoid most attacks for a while. And he is actually Guan Yu's adopted son. Who did I give that extra? Oh, yeah, Yang Jin. Okay. Yeah. With this setup, it's mainly going to be Guan Yu and Lu Fang casting spells. And I'm okay with that. Uh, okay. I'll go back, buy some food, spend the night, and I'll meet you back right here. Yeah, if you're at like a, a gate or a mountain or a river, you hold the direction, you hear this. Headbutt, headbutt, headbutt. Okay, welcome back. I went back, bought some uh, food, I bought about 300. Uh, money or gold is worth, so I got 900, and I did gain a level. So, as you saw, Zhang Fei is up to 296, Wanyu is up to 281 max, and we learned... What was it? The uh, Shui Jian. It replaced Wu Jian. This one makes water attacks weaker against us. Oh, and I dropped Cheng Dang from the party. Don't really need him right now, but let's go on. I'll show this off now. We get this. Nothing happens, and can't equip it. So I'm gonna give it to Sank Bay. Basically, it's like a steed, but it does not go away when uh, if someone's like, I want a really good horse. This does give you an agility boost. So I give it to Sangfei because he's generally slow. Later on, they would tell you where it is, but you have to do something I'm not going to do. But I'll explain it when it happens. So, here we are at Hulao Gate. Charge. Uh, 
Lubu and Liru. Take a look. Yep. Much stronger. <laughs> he has the highest strength in the game. He's stronger than Zhang Fei, but also dumber. And currently has a lot more troops. Liru. Man, he has a little strength. 18. Even if you give him, like, the best weapons you can right now, he's not going to hit much. But he's got some really good tactics. For the most part, we're going to be relying physical on him. So that's what we're going to do. While I let Lu Fang and Guan Yu hit Lu Bu with fire. Yep, he hits really damn hard. But we can take him. He's an idiot. How did you not hit him? Yeah, and they can hit us. Liru can do some damage. But we can do some damage to Lubu as well. Okay. Yeah, we're all for saying anything. But... I'd say if you get under... 180... Soldiers? You might want to, uh... Heal. It'd probably be better if we focus fired, but we can drop ooh, Lubu pretty quick with fire attacks, as, like so. And my melee guys can take out Liru. But at this point in time, everyone's going to focus. Whoop. Take on Lubu. We'll drop him, then we'll focus fire Liru. Eesh. Yeah, even when he's under threshold, he can still hit hard. Alright, took him out. Now we just need to focus fire Liru. Yeah, we, technically we can hit him with Lu Fang and Guan Yu with uh, Yiho. It's, I just don't like my chances, so we're just gonna power him down. Yeah, Guan Ping and Lu Fang are still respectable with their weapons. Yeah, even if he wasn't under threshold, he wouldn't hit that hard. Alright. And we're done. You're done, son. You're done! I just quoted Game Grumps. <laughs> <sighs> Please don't flag me. He wants to return the favor. Bring it! Hey, 93. And 625 rations. Nice. Let's see, this is Hulao Gate. Yeah, it says Hulao Guan, but it's Hulao Gate. Do around. Hey, you look like me, Z. See? Brother! Huo Hu. Good with powder. If you go to, I believe it's on <laughs> lordyanshu.com. They actually have a comment that has that uh, uses him a lot. He's actually <laughs> it's drugs. Okay, and let's see. 80, 175. 236. Let's see. Only a little let's see, Engine's only a little bit stronger, has only a little bit more troops. I'll hold on. Check something. 12, 15, 3. Big whoop. Sorry, Yangjin, but I'm putting in Huo Ho. Let's talk to everyone else. Wu Yang. Chichuma. Sure. That is the legendary horse, Chichuma. It's also known as Red Hair. Let's see. I know there's something here. Hey, lady. Sure we can. We'll win. I said so. He looks different than normal people. Hmm. Ah, cow cow? It's actually pronounced sow sow if I remember right. 
Because there's different translations where it's C A O C A O, others it's T S A O, T S A O. Okay, bye. See you later. Why can't I exit that way? Witchcraft. It's the only explanation. Gem sword. Hmm. Sword made out of gems. Must be pretty strong. Ah! That's the thing. If we get the gem sword, we can give it to Lubu, and he can join us. And while he is a pretty good strength character, He's really dumb. If you want to get him, go ahead. Me? I'm not going to. Because it makes it a little bit more challenging and we get... What should I call it? Out of it. More experience and whatnot. Okay. Yeah, it's not always in the corners. It's in some pots. Like right here. Hello ho! I got the X. Okay. I don't think I should summon off in the last place. Oh, okay. Gooji. Yeah, we'll be fighting this guy later. Uh, 128 if... You know, if I could get him to join right now, I probably would. Uh, let's just drop on, so I want to show him off real quick, because you can see some of the other guys. And I want to see how well my guys can use Yeeho. 103. Pretty good. <laughs> 134. 57. Eh. It's a little bit random, but still, that's a lot better than his normal attack would be. this all out, take him out. It's not really a threat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, under normal, like, uh, whatchamacallit, such, uh, yeah, normal circumstances, yeah, I can't talk, as you saw. 29, that's pretty good. I'd have everyone but Ho Ho attack and have him use magic, just to save it, but if I remember correctly, I didn't show this off. Not there. Yeah, I forgot. You could spend the night here. Alright. Now then. My plans now. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. But what I'm going to do for next episode is we are going to go back into the cave because there's a chest I forgot about. And then we'll go over to Lu Yang. This is Asuna Vox. Thank you for joining me today. Y'all have a nice day.